Hey, hey, Aries, intuitive soul coach here with your June 2023 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, Aries, June looks to be a very powerful month for you. You have the Clarity card followed by the Bliss energy here, which is resembles the sun in tarot. It's all about creating your heaven on earth. It is about you being able to manifest your dreams to reality here. And then you also have the Body Talk card. So focusing on mental health, physical health, emotional health, you may be seeking out a shaman a healer a reiki practitioner or you may be learning and diving more into the holistic metaphysical healing practices as well so a lot of really beautiful things showing up let's dive into this clarity card here this is the month where things show up on a deeper more meaningful level because there are truths coming out here these are things that may have been hidden. Some of you may have been feeling a little bit of brain fog, you felt indecisive, or you just didn't have the clarity that you desired moving forward. This is the month for you, Aries, where things come to light. There's truth here, finding solutions, working with possibly new people as well, whether this is family, it could be calling in your soul tribe. As mentioned earlier, it could be a shaman, a doctor, therapist, coach, Reiki practitioner, there's people here that want to help and support you I'm getting King and Queen of Cups energy here and even though we don't have the King and Queen of Cups you're certainly taking action and this is about you finding answers through meditation through the guidance and support of others this month as well but it's gonna put you on this clear path this new direction and you can see here the crystal the clear quartz there on the beach so some of you may even be working with clear quartz or uh, crystal quartz energy in the month of June you may be gifted a quartz or you may be purchasing this for yourself. And cords can also bring about more clarity. So if you meditate with this this month, you may be surprised at the, the messages and the answers that come to you. So I love the clarity card showing in. And once you get clear on this path, because what's happening is internally, you're finding the answers here. And once you get clear on what that path is, you can take action, you can take the next step. And that's what I see you doing. Now the Bliss card is, again, one of the most abundant cards here as themed for you. This is all about wish fulfillment. It is about you creating your heaven on earth, happiness, sunshine, joy, freedom. It is the Yes card. So if you've been wanting to shift up your appearance, yes, this is the month to do it. If you've been wanting to focus on your mental health, your physical, emotional, if you've been wanting to go towards that job, that business idea, that relationship, this is the yes month. So filling yourself up with things that that make your heart happy. Filling your cup, basically, is what this is all about. Some of you could even be traveling. You could be celebrating with loved ones. This is about happiness and joy. So whatever brings you happiness and joy, I feel like it may be multiplied this month because you're releasing some heavy burdens, some things that may have been toxic, stressful. It may have felt obsessive at times or fearful because we do have the devil showing up here for you. And you've carried a lot of these burdens. I'm getting financial burdens for some of you as well, but there's some sort of relief or an increase in finances, maybe a new job opportunity, a goal being met, but it's going to help you move forward in a new direction. Now, Aries, you also have the body talk card showing up. This is about loving yourself unconditionally. It is doing the necessary work that is required for you to be the best version of you. And sometimes that's messy. It's sticky. We need to dive in, do the shadow work at times. We need to take a look and see how we play a role in a situation as well. This can be about accountability and responsibility for your own personal health right? Mental, physical, emotional, spiritual. Some of you may also be paying attention to your body image. You may have struggled with this, whether this is, you know, the way that you look, it could be your body shape, the color of your hair, it could be wrinkles, whatever this is here for you. It doesn't just have to be 
physical because you also have chakra healing on this card as well, but you're taking a good look at your energy. And if you felt unmotivated or you just didn't feel as awesome as maybe you once did, this is the month where you're starting to realign your energy and focus on that unconditional love. Again, filling your cup first. You may even be getting out, exercising more, getting out in nature. I'm getting here possibly walking, hiking, getting out on the water because you see the water on both of these cards here with the clarity and the bliss. And this could do all the world of difference for your mental health as well. Please see the disclaimer in the description box below. If you are suffering from any mental health conditions, please seek a professional, but I certainly sense that it's a beautiful month for you ahead. Now let's dive in. Now we do have some challenges here that you're working through. You're showing up big and strong here with the emperor. This is your energy. So when the emperor shows up, this is success when it comes to business, when it comes to legal matters. For a lot of you, it's all about moving forward. Authority, right? Father energy, which is interesting because Father's Day is also in the month of June. So I love that this parallel is showing up in your reading. Regardless of the relationship you did have with your father, I do feel here that you're releasing some heavy burdens that you've carried. Maybe you yourself are a father or you're just embracing this masculine energy, even if you're female and you're really bossing up, you're moving forward by taking action, taking strategy. Now, when it comes to your love life, this can be a stable, mature love that's based on loyalty, that's based on you know, uh, respect, mutual respect here as well. So the emperor, I feel like you're making some moves and it could be money moves as well. Some of you are investing your time, your energy, your money into your products, your services, your business, or your career path, because I am getting here money flow, and we'll dive into the money category here shortly as well. But the emperor showing up is structure, it is order, it is stability. And I feel like you're doing what you need to do to create stability areas in your world. And you're attracting right the right people uh, that can fill those seats and help you along the way. Now you also have the three of pentacles. So that kind of veers off with what we were just talking about, filling the right seats, finding the right people. You're very good at what you do. People notice you. I feel like they respect you as well. So when the three of pentacles shows up, this is that teamwork, making that dream work. It is being able to find the right people to put in the hot, hot seat that can help you grow and you can help them grow as well. It's not so much about, you know, the leader and the followers, but it's, it is about some sort of mutual energy between you and other people. So it's not about who can get one up here or who can be, uh, you know, it's not about the different levels. It's about help and resourcefulness, regardless of status, regardless of what one does for a living, right? I'm not getting that egocentric energy of the emperor at times. I feel like this is a very helpful energy where people are respecting you. You may be a top leader and other people look up to you here for advice, for counsel, for wise words, for your next move. They're watching your move, but in a powerful way because I feel like they want to be like you. Now, for some of you, this could be your family, your children. This is you being a positive role model and influence to others around you, whether it's in your family, your personal life, your business, your career. This is a, a divine energy. I also feel here, for some of you, this emperor energy could also be someone of, I, uh, what would it be here? Um, I'm getting Hierophant, Hierophant mixed with Hermit, so a sage, a seer, it could also be a doctor, someone who really knows their stuff, and you may be taking a class and you're learning from this teacher and you really uh, resonate with what it is that they have to say. You're really open to learning here as well. So three of pentacles. When it comes to love, this is about you staying positive, working through your differences, willing to maybe see a coach, a counselor, a therapist. This is willing to not let third parties interfere with a relationship. Now I'm not talking about cheating. It certainly could be for some of you, but I'm not feeling that intuitively. I feel it is not letting third parties such as in-laws or, uh, you know, 
anyone, whether it's work, whether it's a person, place, or thing, basically, you're not letting that get in the way of important relationships in your world. So you may be putting a little bit more emphasis on relationships in the month of June because that's something that may have been missing a beat. It may have been something that you've neglected or maybe work came first. I feel like you're coming together and teamwork really does make that dream work. Now, mid-June, you're definitely working on releasing some toxic energies. For some of you, this can affect the back, right? It could be back surgery that you've had to deal with. Uh, you may be feeling the weight of the world. It could be a wonderful month to get a massage, seek a chiropractor, uh, energy work, as well, hence the body talk card. This can be PT. It is about you working with someone, hence the resources here, three of pentacles, teamwork, working with someone to release some of this energy with the devil. Now, the devil can be about attachments to social and material status. Now, sometimes this emperor, he can at times get an inflated ego, just at times, right? But this devil says, you know, I'm not going to attach myself to social and material status. I want to help others. So that could be a limiting belief or something that may have set you back in the past, whether that was your energy or someone else, but you're releasing the attachments to materialism for some of you. Um, you're you may have been obsessing about money. You may have been actually prolonging goals, milestones, and achievements because there was so much obsession about a situation. Same with love. When we obsess about a situation to the point of that's all we can think about, right? We've probably all been there at some point or another in our world where we're constantly focusing all of our energy on one thing. Therefore, we're neglecting, neglecting an important relationship, neglecting, you know, paying the bills, neglecting our children, family, whatever this is here, our own health, right? Not eating the right things because we're too worried about this. We can't eat. You hear it all the time. I'm too stressed out to eat right now. Right? So I feel like there was something here that you're neglecting, but not any longer, right? The devil energy showing up is about releasing attachments, releasing obsessions, anything that may have been harmful to your body, mind, and health with the body talk, you're getting rid of because it weighs too heavy of a cost with the 10 of wands. This is taking on too much and feeling burnt out or feeling exhausted, feeling like you're on overload. That's why you have these important people in and around your energy Aries in the month of June that is going to help you release these heavy burdens. This can be support from a partner in a hard time. This can be support from, like I said, a shaman, a therapist, a doctor, someone who can help you work through these challenges. Now, the devil energy can be anything that tempts us, right? It can be addictions. Some of you are releasing it can be fears, obsessions, manipulation, or tendencies to feel manipulated or be manipulated. It can be codependent patterns, which you actually have codependency showing up in your love section. And for others of you, it is materialism. And when we focus on just going with the flow, knowing that money is an exchange, right? It's an energy. Knowing that relationships are here for growth and evolution. And hopefully, if we're lucky, they are based on re reciprocity, right? And you knowing that you don't have to carry the heavy burdens. And I feel like some of you, it may feel inevitable because you've had to carry these heavy burdens, maybe of your father. Some of you may have been taking care of a father. Some of you had a father who was an alcoholic here with the devil, but you've had to go through maybe a lot of counseling, a lot of healing to work through this situation here as well. Some of you have struggled financially and you've got yourself in a little bit of a pickle, right, with this devil. But there's something you're releasing and you're healing and you're moving forward because you have the star showing up here in your energy. Beautiful. I love the star showing up <clears throat> because the star shows up after the devil, right? The star shows up here to, to inspire you with hope, with healing, with positivity and peace. And the star is here to say, don't give up on those dreams. Your wealth is improving and you're being recognized. When it shows up as love, this is about hope for the future, knowing that maybe you've had to struggle or you've struggled with some mental, physical, emotional health, and you may have incorporated along the way some sort of belief that says, I'm never going to find love or I'm never going to attract what I want or what I seek, right? 
The star is about you attracting and you following literally your north star, your inner compass. Connecting with your higher self here, Aries, your higher beings, your spiritual guides, uh, connecting with ancestors, with loved ones who've crossed over. The star is the connection to all things in the ether here. But I absolutely feel like there is improvements coming in for you. Big improvements. I love this. Now, your final card is the Two of Wands when it comes to the tarot here. Now, this could be towards the end of the month as well. This is about getting beneficial guidance from others, which we do see showing up. So in the beginning of June, some of you are looking into additional resources, solutions. You're trying to gain clarity, maybe meditating more. You're setting the intention of maybe putting yourself out there more as well. And towards the end of the month, I feel like you're taking that advice, right? There's beneficial guidance coming in. Some of you are building, rewarding relationships with others. The Two of Wands is about planning our future, right? When this comes to business and career, there could be a new proposal coming in for you. So make sure you keep that third eye chakra open. What is your vision? What do you project into the future here? What do you want to manifest? Keep your eye on the prize, but of course, stay in that frequency and that energy in the now because that's what's important and sometimes that's all we have is the now. When we're focused so far into the future or so far into the past, it takes away from the now. Now, there's nothing wrong with setting goals and planning. In dreaming about the future, but I'm sensing heavily here for you, Aries, that this is the month for action. It's a very action-oriented month, and I do feel like you're going to use not just your, your fiery energy here, because this is you, two of wands, to use your creativity and your passion and your spiritual force and your willpower to breathe inspiration into a dream that you have. This is all about you making it happen instead of just sitting sitting around thinking about it, right? Very positive, which you have the thinker card here as well. So yes, you've been thinking about a situation, but I feel like you're taking the next step. So really great. Now let's dive into the wealth energy here of money, abundance, career. Now you have the tree, you have the pendulum, and you also have the treasure. So great cards. However, with the clarity showing up and the pendulum, I certainly sense that there has been indecisiveness. Now the two here, two of wands, can be indecisive energy. Not quite sure how to move forward. Not sure how to increase your finances. Fluctuating income. It can be indecision. Some of you may have been going through a job change or you were making choices when it came to your financial well-being. This could be seasonal energy as well. Maybe there was a temporary position or a temporary energy that you went through, but that's the beauty of life. Everything is temporary. The only thing permanent is change. That's what you can always rely on is things changing, right? So what's happening is you're coming up with a new strategy here. A new strategy, you are using your brilliant mind, your intellect, your logic to come up with a brand new plan or a brand new goal that you have every resource to manifest and make happen because this is your energy here, the emperor. You already have the tools available. You've already been through a lot. I feel whatever ideas you have, you can manifest them quickly because it's not that you're taking a shortcut. It's that you've already done the work to get to the results here is what I feel. Some of you are old souls. Some of you have been working for quite some time. Some of you are ready for a job change or a shift. Now you have the tree and the treasure. I mean, these are some of the best cards in the deck as well. So it kind of goes hand in hand with the bliss card here. But the tree always reminds me of the 10 of pentacles, which is the energy we all want to see when it comes to a career reading or when it comes to career or finances, because it's about financial growth. It is about things coming to fruition. It's all about abundance. Now, some of you, this could be a family business. You're creating your stability. It could be an outdoors job, or maybe it's something that has to do with humanitarian work, volunteer work, bringing things together. Some of you may even be taking a, tr a retreat. This may have to do with travel, tourism, Airbnb, hospitality, something of that nature as well. But this is the money tree. And I feel like your money is going to increase here, especially because you have the treasure. The treasure is about not having to worry about your finances. Now, is this going to happen all in the course of a month? No, no. I mean, some of you, maybe. Let's hope, right? 
However, I do feel that this is where you are heading and that's why you are being strategic at this time. You may be setting up yourself for money in reserve, money in retirement, having a little extra at the end of the week or at the end of the month so you don't have to live paycheck to paycheck. You may be in executive areas, you may be in the sales industry, you may be discovering your hidden talents and you also have the planning. So a lot of you are planning on ways to bring about this treasure into your world and you're taking steps now that are going to affect you down the road. So this is great. It goes hand in hand with what's coming in here. Now, for those of you that are curious about love, now, whether you're single, partnered up, whether you're in a relationship, we can look at them all, but we have codependency here, which can be that devil energy. And it could be because some of you, there was something that came before the relationship or came in between the relationship here, whether it was a, a third party energy of another person, whether someone chose, uh, you know, children, career, family, uh, a lover, whatever this was, maybe alcohol, chose it before you, there could have been a sense of codependency that was built up because of mistrust or betrayal, right? Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Even if this is something that you've endured 25 years ago, 40 years ago, it could still be hindering your love life. So it could be something you may want to take, want to take a deep dive into. Ask for additional help if this isn't something you can do on your own. Because codependency, it just came up for another reading. Who was it? It may have been either Scorpio's love and family reading. Maybe it was even Sag. Uh, some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sag or Capricorn even, which is the devil energy. Uh, it certainly could have been someone in your world, but I do feel here for you. Codependency doesn't have to necessarily be the act of being codependent on a substance, right? It can be a person that is affected by the energy of others, right? It's someone who lets someone else's actions and behaviors get the best of them, or sometimes they obsess over it. They focus just on that person, or they lose sight of what they have right in front of them. They focus so intently on someone else's soul's journey that they forget that they're living their own soul's journey as well, and it can bring a whole big messy pickle into the mix here, right? So codependency, other people may be codependent on you. It could be your children needing you at this time as well, right? So something is affecting the romantic life here. Take a deep dive, whether with a professional or with someone who can help you find what this is and how to move forward because healing can begin here or healing can happen in this situation. We also have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss time of holidays together. If you are partnered up and you are feeling good in the month of June, there could be, I mean, there's Father's Day. We, If you celebrate that, there could be holidays that are in June that I'm not even aware of. It doesn't have to just be June. It could be May energy. We have Mother's Day, Memorial Day. If you celebrate that, this could even be just taking a second honeymoon with your person, with your partner. For those of you that are single, there could be a holiday coming in because it says the enjoy, the bliss of holiday time, right? Whether you're together or partnered up. But I feel for a lot of you that are partnered up, it'd be a wonderful month for you to connect partner up, collaborate, set a date night, take a little bit of time off. If you've, one or both of you have been carrying some deep, heavy burdens, there is a rekindling here, a spark that needs to take place between the both of you. And I do sense that there's been something a little bit missing or distant. This is the month to come back together. Now, for others of you as well that may be single, there's something shaking up in your energy very soon. And it says clearly, clearly, right? Hello, clarity. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And we talked about that with the clarity card because you may be a magnet for the law of attraction here, for manifesting. With this bliss card next to the clarity, get clear on what it is that you want and release and focus on removing any of these blockages or distractions that may be slowing up the progress of what it is that you want in your world, Aries. So really powerful. 
Now, message from your soul's truth. I always love this part. I love I love all the readings or uh, how, how they come about here, but I always recommend jotting down the message from the soul truth because these are questions that your soul really wants you to dive in and ask yourself, and there's always an action prompt, which I love. I'm a big homework giver. If you've ever, ever had a session with me, I like to, to get you thinking, and I like to ask questions that you can take beyond the reading. What if it isn't true? The thing that you're telling yourself right now, the concrete reasons why you think you don't belong or that you can't do it or you won't get there or that you're not enough or that it's not for you. What if it isn't true, Aries? Today is soul action. It's time for a soul chat. Close your eyes, put your hands on your heart and ask the wise one within. What if it isn't true? What else might be possible? Journal your answers. What lie do I need to let go of to reach my soul's truth? Which is quite interesting because the devil lies. He is. He's a liar, right? He tries to trick you into believing things that are absolutely not true. And what happens when we start to believe the lie is we carry these heavy burdens with the Ten of Wands, these burdens that aren't even true in the first place, nor do you need to be carrying those heavy burdens. So ask yourself, what if it isn't true, right? What else could this mean? Really powerful here. There's something else possible for you, and that's what I see with the star coming in. You can choose a new path here, Aries. Now, messages from your spirit animals. You have card 44 and 38. Some of you may be 44 or 38 years old. You may have a birthday on the 8th or even the 12th or even the 11th. I have Panther here. Reclaim your power. Because some of you, that's what the devil is all about, reclaiming our power, coming home to our soul's truth. So this is the month for you to take action. Whatever you felt has been stealing, manipulating, or controlling with the emperor, controlling your power, this is the month that you take it back. You say, no more, right? I've had enough of this. It's time to switch things up. I'm raising my vibration to attract what it is I I want that brings me the happiness I seek. That's what you're doing here. All right, we have here, I keep getting 12 energy coming in. It's not because my math is just incorrect, but I keep getting 12. Who has a birthday on the 12th, Aries? Or there could be a significance around June 12th for you as well. So Lizard Spirit says, dream the world into being. Dream the world into being. So this is about you taking those dreams, that wish fulfillment down to reality and making conscious action steps towards reaching that destiny, reaching those goals, those milestones, whatever it is here for you. It's time to dream that into reality. Okay. And last but not least, we have the thinker card. Oh my goodness. They're right. Look at this. You have 44 in both cards. I absolutely love these divine synchronicities here. So 44 may be a very powerful number for you, which breaks down to eight. Now fours are about structure. They're about planning. They're about stability. And you also have here eight, which is strength, right? Endurance, power, being stronger than you think you are, not letting the the weaknesses get the best of you, not succumbing to the fears with the devil. So beautiful energy here. Let's take a look and read to you the oracle message from the guidebook thinker the ability to reason and strategize is the focus now take things at face value and follow the logical path your calculations will prove to be correct for in this moment there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious things are exactly as they seem you have all the information you need so keep it simple and you will win the game of life that you're playing right now okay when it comes to love for you Aries, love is not logical, but when we choose a partner, it's good to have things in common, right? And that's what I was getting in relationships, that some of you may have lost that connection of common ground. That's why it's important to reinvent hobbies between yourself. Get out there for date night. This is a time to weigh the pros and cons of your partnership. If there is enough common ground, go for it. If not, there are other fish in the sea. Don't force something, especially if it's toxic or unhealthy or sabotaging your own soul's growth, right? Don't force it. And should others tell you who they are, take them at their word. Now is not the time to indulge in fantasy, no matter what. In this case, the facts are the facts. 
And the prosperity message for you is this. Calculated action is called for now. It's important to sit down and plan a strategy. There's that two of wands. Focus on the steps you're going to take to claim your prosperous life. Lists are your friends now. So get out your journal. Write down what you are going to do today to signal to the universe that you're serious about attracting abundance. Your plans and strategies will yield wonderful results. Remember, your most effective strategy partner is spirit. You will win this game and your triumph will be for the highest good of all. And that's interesting that it keeps referencing the game because look at that. I mean, that's not a, a game in uh, or a piece in the game of life if you've ever played the game of life, but it is a piece in the game of chess, I believe, and that's a game nonetheless. So this is about you making strat uh, strategic moves, moving forward. How are you going to take that next step? And I feel like you have the clarity now to be able to figure out how and what to do to move forward. So very powerful month for you. I'm also getting the name Nichols. Nichols, that could be a last name or maybe Nicholas is the name, but Nichols for short, but Nichols is the name that I'm hearing. It could be a last name, first name, street name, location. Please take it as it resonates, Nichols. I mean, some of you may even find a nickel, uh, if that is your currency, a nickel on the ground. That could be uh, a message for you from Spirit as well. Please take that as it resonates. Thank you so much for being here and tuning in, Aries. I hope this helps you out. Very powerful energy moving through the month of June. If this resonates, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channel messages out there to those that need it most. If you haven't already hit that subscribe and bell button and you're vibing with this energy, feel free to do so. I'd love to have you. Thank you so much for being here.